In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the most battery life out of your phone, whether it's iPhone or Android, without any special software. What's up guys and welcome to the channel. I'm Sean and here I believe that technology is one of the best ways that people can improve their lives. They can use technology to improve their lives and I'm here to help people do that. So let's talk about batteries phone batteries specifically, though the tip I'm going to give will work for any battery, uh, any lithium ion battery specifically. So any newer battery um, in your laptop, in your phone, whatever. It used to be that when you got a new device, you would be told that you need to kind of plug it in and charge it full uh, and then let it discharge the whole way and then charge it full again. And this is called um, calibrating the battery and giving the battery an understanding of what its capacity is and making sure that the full capacity is used. Um, and that's definitely something that you do want to do when you first get a battery. That's a tip. So the lifetime of a battery is measured in what's called cycles. Um, the charge cycles basically and a full charge cycle is supposed to indicate the battery charging from 0 to 100 and however many times it can do that is the life expectancy of that battery so for example most lithium ion batteries nowadays in the new phones etc are going to charge 300 to 500 times before their life expectancy is or, or their life um, their battery life is significantly impacted so what we want to try and do is limit the impact as much as possible. And now this tip may not work for everybody, but essentially what you want to do is keep your phone charged between 40 and 80%. Now, um, what I'm going to do is link to some research that was done that goes over this a little bit better than I can, but essentially, when you charge your device from 40 to 80, um, you miss those parts that you're charging when you're basically um, taking more of your charge cycle. So if you charge from 40 to 80 and keep charging that way, um, the battery is gonna basically last longer. So it's not that the charge will last longer itself, it's that the life expectancy will be longer for the battery because you're using less cycles when you're actually charging. So it might not be practical for everybody to do this kind of thing. Um, you know, if you're going on a road trip or something, if you're camping, you might not be able to charge it from uh, 40 to 80 constantly. Um, but what it means for my Google Pixel XL, for example, is uh, I charge it to 80% around the time I go to bed when I wake up in the morning. Maybe it's dropped a percent or two, something like that. Um, I use it throughout the day. And if I need to top it up, if I get it down to 40%, I plug it in and I top it up for 20, 30 minutes and let it build its charge back up to 80. And then I use it again. So I'm never fully discharging. I'm never fully charging. Um, it's still good to do a discharge and full charge uh, once or once a month or so. It's good for the health of the battery. Um, you don't want to leave your battery plugged in, of course, uh, overnight or anything like that. But keeping it 40 to 80 will reduce the amount of cycles that you use when you're charging, which will increase the longevity of the device. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like it, hey, consider clicking that like button. If you want to see more tech stuff, consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I love phone batteries.